there was an incident recently on an Airbus A330, the nose landing gear shock absorber suffers leaks prior to departure during cargo loadings and refueling. Therefore in accordance with Airbus 330, troubleshooting manual one of the method is to to isolate the nose landing gear lower gland primary seals and activate the upper gland seal spare if there is a hydraulic leak. Let's take a look at the procedures on the following slides. In here if the valve condition is in open, the colored band condition will be in view and the primary seal will be in operation. Whereas if the valve condition is enclosed, the colored band condition will not be in view, and the secondary seal will be in operation. Warning: Use goggles and gloves when you remove or install lock wire. Each time you cut lock wire, remove and discard it immediately. Loose lock wire can cut you or make you blind, and or can cause damage. Warning. Make sure that the safety devices and the warning notices are in position before you start a task on or near. The flight controls. The flight control surfaces. The landing gear and the related doors. Components that move. Movement of components can kill or cause injury to persons and or can. Cause damage to the equipment. Warning, be careful when you use consumable materials. Obey the material manufacturer's instructions and your local regulations procedure to close the nose landing gear seal changeover valve make sure that the seal changeover valve is open the brightly colored band is in view close the nose landing gear seal changeover valve as follows cut remove and discard the lock wire from the nut one use a socket diameter 26 millimeters 1,02 in, hexagonal, outside diameter less than 35 mm, 1.378 inch, to turn the nut, 1, counterclockwise. Torque the nut, 1, to between 0.855 and 0.900 m.decanewton, 75.66 and 79.65 pounds per square inch. This will make sure that the valve spindle, 2, is fully retracted and the seal changeover valve is closed. Note, the red mark is not in view and the secondary seals are activated. Safety the nut, 1, with wire locking diameter, 0.8 mm Cress nickel alloy. Note, hydraulic fluid can continue to show on the nose landing gear sliding tube for some weeks after the changeover valve is closed. This is because of the hydraulic fluid leakage of the primary seals in the space between the spacer and the nose landing gear sliding tube. It is possible to find a small quantity of fluid until one month after the activation of the secondary seal.